I hope you can all see the agenda we have on the screen. I just want to touch on this little, little, as little as they seem, they might, they might be causing one or two issues for the beginners if we are not careful. And that's why we decided to touch up on these little things to be sure we are all on the same page. Now, from what we have on the screen, I'll start with the first one, which is assessing you know, the, the end of center. Is there anybody here you don't know how to navigate yourself okay. through the end of center? If you can't, just type in no. You don't know how to navigate your new, you don't know how to. Outside, um, someone I have here, which is very new, you're here, you don't know how to navigate through the I am the center. Or should I just go through it for the sake of those that might be watching this recording later? Okay, so I'll just go through it from scratch. Now, the first thing, I am the center is where you have access to everything you need in the I am Mastery Academy. Excuse me, please. Okay. I am dot. When you come to I am dot center, you put in your username and your password. Can we all see my screen? Can we see my I am dot center screen? Can we all see my I am dot center screen? Just type in yes. You can see it. Okay, thank you. You put your username and your password and then you log in. This is where you get access to everything you, you can even ever, everything you need concerning the platform. This is where you have access to it. And you can also see your rating, everything you need to see here. Now, you start from here for your academies. When you come to your academies here, this is where you have access to all your, your school materials, just like the handouts you get in school. Like this thing is very easy. Sometimes I tell someone, you should just imagine it as a school. I am Master Academy is a school, and you pay the school fees to attend the classes. And in every I am institution, we have the time when the, we, the lecturers come to class, and we have the time when the lecturer will give us handouts that we should go read it. The academy is where you have access to all your handouts that has been given to you by the lecturer, so to say. It's where you have access to all the handout that has been given to you by the lecturer. If you have, um, this, we are, I'm on an um, elite pack. I'm on an elite pack here. That's why you're seeing all the products. I have access, there is access to all the products here. But if you are just on Forex, you have access to only the Forex packs. If you're on HFX alone, you have access to only the HFX training and if you're on DCX you have access to only the DCX. The for, um, FRX 
They are in different languages. That's why you're seeing it in multiple places here. This is Spanish, English, German, Portuguese. HFX is only in two languages, English and um, Spanish. Now, the major thing, because the wave of the moment right now is towards um, HFX. If you're on Forex, you just come to this English, click on it, and then it gives you access to all the educational um, handbook you need to go through. And these things are very, very compulsory. Don't say because we teach you or you're learning it from the education educators during their live session. You don't need to come to this place to, to go through. If it is not necessary, those that created this platform, they wouldn't put it here. If they think you can get everything from the educators, they will not put these things here. They are very, in fact, they are as necessary as you can ever think of. HFX is the same thing. Once you come here, I'm very sure everybody here, or most people here on the HFX part, you see all the educationals. It's just like your school. In school, we start with um, 101, 106, 101 series. Then when you get to 200 level, 201, 202, 200 this, 200 that. When you get to 300 level, you, uh, you upgrade to 30 or something. That's the same thing the way it is here. The handouts are there for us. Please, let's all make sure if you have not gone through this thing and you have started trading, it's like you're jumping the, the, the process. It might, pay you, it might pay off for you now, but in the long run, it won't. You just end up biting yourself or shooting yourself in the, um, in the leg. So please, let us, I endeavor everybody here, I encourage you all to please go back to this um academy if you have not gone through this thing i'm not just going through it just once go through it at least twice at least twice this thing is all this the whole of hfx the whole of this video for hfx is mm -hmm. if your network is on an average it takes you like just four hours you're done with it for forex max eight hours you're done with it you can decide to take one hour every day out of 24 hours take one hour i have someone that finished this whole academy in one day the person got to 100 percent here in one day the reason you we have my husband is having 17 percent here on his platform is because he used the former platform to learn all these things he, he went through this whole education He went through all this education in the former platform. This whole platform you're seeing is new. That's why it's still on, it's showing 17% here. And I think he didn't enroll when he entered. So when you want to start yours, make sure you enroll. Enroll here. You click on this enroll so that it start counting for you. I have someone that did it in one day. He registered today. The next day we saw him. When he came back with, with, on, with his system, I saw 100%. I was like, wow. And see, there's, the way we will know that you guys are really going through this thing, you should come back with questions because we don't expect you. It's just like when you, you, this thing is just as good as a physical higher institution. When our lecturers, give, I remember then when our lecturers give us handouts to, to, to read in school. It's not everything we usually under, understand. Even if we don't have access to our lecturers, most times we have a, access to our seniors that do all the uh, tutorial. And then we write, down, write, out, write out the questions to go ask. You should have questions if you have gone through this whole academy. You should have questions written out that you ask during sessions like this. That, oh, while I was going through the academy, I came across this, this, this. Please, can you clarify? Can you this? Can you that? You should have questions after you've gone through this academy. So I'll beseech every one of you, please don't skip it. Don't skip this process. It is very important. Go to the academy.
That's that on the academy. Now, the next one here is the peep talk. How many of you here, you don't have peep talk on your phone? Peep talk. Please, if you are here and you don't have peep talk on your phone, just signify by typing zero. Typing zero if you don't have peep talk on your phone. Okay. If you don't have, I, okay, some of you might not know I'm referring to IM Academy app on your phone. IM Academy app. You don't have it on your phone because the peep talk is inside the app. Let me rephrase my question. You don't have IM Academy app on your phone. Okay. Now, right away, like right now, if possible, right now, so that you don't procrastinate or say you do it later and you forget. Go to your Play Store or your App Store. Download, look for IM Academy and download it right now, please. So that you don't forget or get to procrastinate. I am Academy. Look for it on your phone and download it. Can I show them? Okay, join me so now. I'll show you how it looks like. Let me join you with, with the other phone. Then I will share the screen on the other phone as to show you how it looks like. Can you download on your laptop? No. You can only have it on your phone. It's an app. It's a phone app. Did I stop sharing you? Hmm? Okay, so I'm going to share the screen on the other phone to, to, to show you how it looks like. Can you all see the screen now? I guess you should be able to see the screen now. Now, you see all the, the first, second, third. In fact, all the apps here are for trading. You don't need everything, but I'm just saying all the apps here are for trading. The first one you see, MetaTrader 4 is for Forex trading. This second one <coughs> is Swipe Trade. I'll just touch on it. Swipe Trade is for Forex trading also. With swipe trade on your phone, when you are subscribed to the Elite Pack or even if you are subscribed to the normal Platinum Pack and you pick the add-on for swipe trade, it's going to send, it, they send trades every day from Monday to Friday. As in the trades are, can you open it? Please hold on. Okay, so um where is it? Oh, yeah. You see, I this is the logo. When you go to your app store, or your play store, you see I am academy. This one you're seeing 108 messages at the top. This is it. That's the logo for IM Academy. When you open it, you log in with your username and your password. When you log in, you get this. What is the essence of this? This is Peep Talk. If you look down to the lower side of the screen, you see I am I'm informed. Those are for messages and updates from the company. The next one, you see Peep Talk. On this Peep Talk, you can subscribe to any of your favorite educators. Maybe you have favorite educators that you are following. 
sometimes when you come on the group and you be asking when is the next session when is also person coming up and this person didn't come up now why when you are subscribed to this TikTok, they send in the most of them whenever they are coming up they send in in the next 15 minutes i'll be up just you come to this search you come to that search button you're seeing at the top there when you click on the search button just type in the name of the educator you want to follow when you type it when you type their name you see subscribe under their name when it comes up subscribe to them this is just like the social media uh, social media of um of um i am Mastery, i am mastery academy this is our own when people go to instagram to follow people this is our own place where we come to follow our educators Fine, it's good to also follow them on Instagram. Most time when they are on their live session, they usually put in their Instagram name for you to follow them because they send updates there too. But this is most important. It is most important that you can see when you search Ness, Ness. If you are if you are new, if you are new and you've not subscribed to you can see it's written subscribed. It shows that we are subscribed to Ness request here. Sometimes, if I tell you, sometimes some of these trade educators they send in trade ideas here like Luis Acosta sometimes you see Luis Acosta sending like 12 trade markup ideas for you to go mark up mark it up on your IQ option he puts all the trade ideas there so it is important to come here to follow all of them Leonardo Diaz Luis Acosta Nes request Marty Pips Millie Mills they are all here you can see Leonardo Diaz. You can see update on his trade, on his trades. Eight one total of ten new, twelve a.m. EST. This was seven hours ago that he sent this one. Scroll up. See if you don't understand this. Let me give you guys an hint. If you don't understand the Spanish they are writing, please scroll up. Just go to your Google. Hmm? When you get to Google, type. Spanish to English. Just type Spanish to English and leave that page on your Chrome or your on your web page. Whenever you see things like this, just copy it. When you open that Spanish to English, it's going to bring a um, two page, two page listing for you where you can type in the English. And once you type in English in the, when you paste that English in the English box. It's going to, you don't need to even type a press uh, anything. It's going to automatically show you the English version. Once you paste in the English box, it's going to automatically show you what it means in English. That's how you do know some of, because most of our HFX traders are Spanish speaking, they are from those sides. So just put it there. It's going to tell you, it's going to translate it for you. Okay, so you can see notification. Notification. Six, six minutes ago, TikTok has new post. There's been yes. a new post in Daniel Lopez. Those two brothers, Christian Lopez. Oh, it's Christian Lopez. Those are not two brothers. You see, he sent his. He sent his timetable. I guess. He sent his timetable. So this thing, if you don't understand, just copy this whole thing. Take it to that place, English to Spanish, uh, Spanish to English rather. Just paste it at that Spanish box. It's going to automatically translate it to English for you. So that's that on um, TikTok. Stop sharing. Let me share. If you understand that, just type in 777. If you're good to go on that, type in 777. And if you have a question on that, just let me know. If there's any question on that, let me know. Okay, now the next one here is um, strategies. 
strategies. That's on the high end of center. Let me see, did I? I think I have a column for strategy here. Okay, I won't jump to. I won't jump to strategy. The strategy shows you all the various strategies. <clears throat> Okay, the Pip Talk app is inside, the Pip Talk is inside the I Am Academy. So you are not having Pip Talk app separately and I Am, I am Academy separately. The Pip Talk, the Pip Talk is inside the I Am Academy. Do they also call trades on Pip Talk? I saw you writing 12 minutes, what's that? Yes, some of them, that, that's why once you have the Pip Talk, Enable, oh, I didn't show you how to enable the notification. See, these things are easy to, if you have a new phone, mm, and you want to know how that, to use that new phone within 24 hours, nobody will teach you before you know how to use that new phone. By the time you explore and scatter that phone like a baby, you will know how to use that new phone. Once you get to your IM uh, center, go to where, maybe you see where the settings is and enable the notification. Once you enable the notification, Someone like Leonardo Diaz, Luis Acosta, even Jonathan Nunes, they send trades, trade ideas, all those trade markups that they will tell you that um, I'm looking at a sell for maybe USDJPY at also price. They usually send you that, especially Luis Acosta. Luis Acosta can send like 15 trades markup for you. You want these people. So they usually send trades there sometimes and they they, they send outside their training period, yes, anytime. They send trade anytime outside their training period. They do. So just once they send anything, you get it as a notification on your phone. So this is the um, strategy center where you get to access all the strategies. Sometimes when I tell you, when we tell you that I go learn some of their strategy and use it to practice, once you click on that strategy, for Forex strategies, this is an elite pack, like I said. So all the strategies are highlighted. If you are on the normal platinum pack, not all the strategies will be highlighted. So it depends on the one you are subscribed to. Some of them will be grayish. Anyone you see that is grayish, it means you are not subscribed to it. This pack is subscribed to, it's an elite pack. That's why you see them all colored. You have access to everything. Now for HFX strategies, the same thing here. If you are on normal HFX pack, you will only see Liberty here. You only have access to Liberty. If you are on your normal HFX pack, you only have access to Liberty. Liberty strategy. For these other two, you need to pick it as an add-on. And when you go to your im.academy, you'll be able to purchase it like an add-on added to your, I think it's about $20 or thereabouts. What's not showing, please? Is my screen not showing? My screen is not showing, oh, sorry. Let me stop share and reshare. Is it showing? Okay, showing now. All right, like I said, for, um, for HFX, if you're on the normal HFX pack, you only see Liberty. You only have access to Liberty. You won't have access to these other two strategies, which is the Freedom and the Hourglass. If you want these other two, you need to go to your im.academy and pick it as an add-on. you pick it as an add-on for you to have access to this other two. Now, for Liberty, when you click on Liberty, you see it here. You come here and you click on the strategy. When you click on it, it's going to now take you to the website. You know, inside this IM.academy, they have various websites. 
the same way if you click on go live it will take you to the go live website so you can either come through your IN dot um, center to access this liberty app or you just go to your web to type go liberty dot IN. it will still bring you to the same place go liberty dot im it is still bring it is together the the typing whatever corrected what i sent so when you come here then you come to this place click on strategies you see strategies at the top left you click on strategies when you click on strategies you see the three there are three strategies inside this liberty we have the simple scalper web slinger and the pick pockets learn the three go okay i'm not saying you should learn the three like go watch the video go to next request session if you want to learn the three go to next request session on this go live i think the session it took on the 11th and on the 15th watch those videos it's recorded session on the 11th and on the 15th, you will see he explain the three strategies here. But if you want to learn, okay, when I get to go live, I'll show you. These are the three strategies here. So you just pick the one you want to use, you want to use in trading. If you skip simple scalper, you click on simple scalper, it will load this. Everything has been put in all the indicators you need you don't need to do anything all you need to do is to wait to watch when the trade aligns to your to all your conditions go to your once it aligns to your conditions go to your trading platform and take the trade this is usdchf i i sent a message yesterday on the group that if you want to learn about simple scalper, in-depth learning on simple scalper, that is what Millimills uses. Go to, I'm going to show you where I'm talking about now because some people were asking some questions yesterday. So these are, this is it about the strategy. This is simple scalper strategy. This is, um, the next one is the web slinger. They all work. The next one is pickpockets. Everything has been done for you. All you need to do is to wait for the conditions to take this trade to align. That's that about the strategies. Now, if you go, let's go back to the IND center. Now, this is the goal life. This is where you come to. You can either come to go live through this IMDO center or you just type in on your browser, you just type in go live dot IM on your browser. If you they have different languages on the go live. This is for English. All these educators here you're seeing. This is for the English session. If you want to, those times you usually follow mini news on a Spanish session on, on Wednesday. You sometimes you say, ah, but I'm not seeing, how come I'm not seeing mini news? And they are seeing her on Wednesday on a Spanish session. You need to come to this place and change it to Spanish. That is when you have access to those Spanish educators. And that's when you see her on Wednesday. Even Jonathan Nunes comes. In fact, those HFX educators, they have more live sessions on Spanish than on English. Jonathan Nunes is, all, is live almost every day on the Spanish session. So that's where you see the Spanish educators. This is for English educators, and these are the top five educators for this week. In fact, they've been, they've been on top five for the past few weeks now, especially these two. This, they've been on, this four, they've been on top five for the past few weeks now. 
depends on how many views they have. You can see 65,000, 49,000, depends on how many views they have. Now, if you want to go for the HF, FRX Live Educators, you click on FRX. If it's for HFX, you click on HFX. Or better still, if you are sure of the timetable and you know that this educator is supposed to be live at so 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 time, you don't even need to go through all this trade. Just scroll down. Once you come down to the last part, you see live educators. Any educator that is currently live at that time, you will see their banner here. You see their picture and their name here. So you can see these two, uh, this is showing us now that these two people, Patrick Kenny and Kevin Serrano, they are both live presently. That is how you know an educator that is live at that moment. These two, if you click on them, now they are presently live. But let's go to HFX educators. I would just, I would skip. Okay, so these are the, we have nine HFX educators, I guess, on English. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. We have this timetable you're seeing here. Some of you don't get confused. It's not updated yet. That's why sometimes some people come here and they tell you that the time they check is different from the time they came. It is not updated. That's why I'm always sending that other timetable on the group. That is the updated timetable. This timetable is not updated. Please. We hope they update it very soon. These are the educators and these are their various times. So this fits in to any time you're chanced. If you're not, if you miss one of their session, you can see in FRX, we, we usually streamline educators to follow. In, a, in normal forex, we tell you follow this person and follow this person. But from my experience so far, I found that I just, in, on HFX, because there are not much, maybe because there are not much, there are just nine. Out of the 100 plus educators we have, there are just nine. And I found that I followed, the only person I've not followed is this Christian Lopez. And one of these days, I will even test him. I followed virtually everybody here. And all of them are excellent. All of them are excellent. Now, I would, I don't, I'm not, I don't usually like to streamline that, okay, follow this party. Although there are some people I would recommend. But on your own, we all have different ways we assimilate things. On your own, try to see. When you bump into any one of them, check them out and see. That is why from what we learned this morning from Mr. Kenry, when he was tell, tell, telling us about trading journal. Trading journal is very important when it comes, to, it comes to things like this. When you follow these educators and you journal down their trades, it helps you to know which one fits in best for you, which one you made the, most, the best result with. By the time you're able to now see which one you made the best result, which whose trading style fits your own trading style, it's going to help you know the two or three to follow. You're okay with two or three of them. When you overtrade, you begin to lose. That's one thing. So just, but in our team here, our favorites, Millie Mills, Jonathan Nines, we follow Leonardo Dias, Matthew Taya. Next request. But I've had, we have students in our team here that has made money. Like the one of our students in Ghana, well, he had made his most money with Evan Cabra, despite the fact that we don't even preach him on, in, on our team here. But what did he do? He decided to explore and he found out that Evan Cabra's trading, um, trading style fits his style. And that is who he has been following. And he has been making consistent money. He has been making money consistently. 
So you don't need to restrict yourself with the people who tell you to follow. Luis Acosta has a very mild way of trading. Luis Acosta's trade, very mild. He calls trades ahead that you can even follow. Like, in fact, I have to even devise a means of following him. I have to devise a means of, if you are interested, in, if you find out that you like Luis Acosta's style of trading, just, get, I will not explain it here. Get back to me and I'll tell you the way you can, the easiest way you can follow him. But you need to, you must have gone through his trading session to know his trading style before you get back to me. And I'll put you through on the easiest way for you to follow his trading style. So just, they are all here. The trading timetable, I'll send them again on the group this afternoon. Don't get confused about the time. Don't look at PST. All you need is EST. Add five hours to EST. Wherever you see EST, just add five hours. If you cannot add five hours, go to Google. Put the time EST to Nigeria time. Google will give, there's nothing you cannot ask Google. This. If you ask Google, um, what will I eat today? Google will tell you his own answer. If you tell Google, should I go to the room? Google will tell you the answer. So there's nothing you ask Google today that it will not tell you. Just type the time, EST, to your country's time. It's going to tell you. Better still, save yourself the stress. Add five hours to the time you see at the back of EST. You're going to get your... Yes, ask Google, am I pregnant? <laughs> Even though Google doesn't know, it will tell you whatever it thinks. That's Google for you. Life made easy. So that's on go life. Let's go to what's the next um, let me see our next sorry, let me see our next um, agenda. I think basically I've treated everything about I am the center. The next thing is basic, I just want to touch on basic psychology of trading for those that are new here. Basic psychology of trading. You see, trading is very easy. Once you understand some little, little basics on the psychology of trading, in fact, you can even do naked trading. What do I mean by naked trading? Just go to your, uh, what do they call it? So your platform, whether it's IQ option, raise option, whatever. Once, can you see my whiteboard? Can we also see my whiteboard? Can we all see my whiteboard? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. Where is the listing of this whiteboard? I've closed it. Okay. Oh, I'm seeing what I'm looking for. Basic psychology of trading. What's the basic psychology? It's very simple. Just understand that. Market is like a bouncing ball. The market is like a bouncing ball. This was taught yesterday, but I just want to purposely touch on it again for some people that missed yesterday's class. The market sells at the roof. And buys at the floor. You can call the roof or ceiling or resistance. They have different names. Floor or support. Just know that market is like a bouncing ball. Once it gets to 
a recognized roof, it's definitely going to come down. And what do you do? You watch out for yourself. Once it gets to a recognized support, which is the floor, what will happen to it? If you bounce a ball to the floor, what will happen if you go back up? When it gets to the roof, what will happen to come back down? That is how market moves. Once it, if it gets to that roof, and I don't want to go too deep in depth because I, I really want to make keep it simple and basic. Just understand that. That is one rule you should understand. Now, another thing I want you to understand is sometimes when they are talking and they are talking about the um, one currency being have, um, having more strength than the other currency, this is what it means. Because it helps a lot in trading, understanding the currency that has more strength. It determines the buy and the sell. Now that when you have a currency, let's say GBP USD, in this type of case, GBP is the base. While USD is the quote. Now, how does this work? Sell, or let me start with buy. Buy if this is stronger than quotes. Sell if quotes is stronger. This. Where do you know the currency strength? Live charts. Currency strength. Let's go to live charts. Let's go to the Do we understand this? Do you understand what I've written on the screen? Without explaining, is it clear enough? If I don't even explain, is it clear enough? Okay, good. Beautiful. Without explaining, this is very clear. When you have two currency strength like this, the first one is the base. The second one is the quotes. Watch out for a buy. If this first one, which is the base, is stronger than the quotes, that currency pair, GBP USD, will be buying if GBP is stronger than USD. But if it is the other way around, GBP USD will be selling. And how do you know which one is stronger or which one is weak? You just go to livechat.co.uk. Let me open it for you. Livechat.co.uk. This is it. Livechat.co.uk slash currency strength. Or when you get to livechat.co.uk, you just click on currency strength meter here. Can we all see where my cursor is? If you can see where my cursor is. And in our max, I don't understand the question. Is the currency pair open for HFX package and not only elite currency strengths? I don't understand. 
This currency strength is used for any form of forex trading. Forex is also HFX. The difference, see, don't get it wrong. Forex is also, is also HFX. The only difference is that HFX is time-based. HFX, you determine the time you want to get in and get out of the market. But ordinary Forex, Forex, you don't determine when you want to get out of the market. You only know when you're entering the market. And this currency strength is used for every one of it. Whether you are trading indices, whether you are trading gold, whether you are trading whatever. Okay, no, indices, there's no indices there, so it's not working. But for any Forex pair, whether Forex or HFX, this currency strength is what you use. When you come to livecharts.co.uk, just come to this place and click on currency strength meter. Or just type livechart.co.uk slash currency strength. Either one works. Now, if we look at Euro GBP here, and you should all, whenever you come to this site, always refresh because it updates like every two minutes. It's always updating. You can see Euro week now. If I refresh now, you will see you might, it might have changed strength. Can you see? Because I refresh, you see that currently Euro is too bad. GBP has full bar. GBP is the strongest of all the currencies here presently. If I refresh again in the next two minutes, depends on what is happening in the market, it will interpret it here. Or what is happening here will be interpreted in the market. Now, this is telling us that GBP is strong. Now, for a pair like Euro GBP, what will be happening to it presently? Please, every, I need reply from everybody here. What will be happening to Euro GBP in the market presently? Euro is weak, GBP is strong. Euro is the base, GBP is the coat. What will be happening to Euro GBP? Sell, 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 sell. Beautiful. Currently now in the market, Euro GBP will be selling. Now, what do we use this currency strength for? We use it as a form of confirmation before we enter into a trade. Sometimes when we want to trade on our own with any of these um, tools, with any of these um, applications on our, either Liberty or Hourglass or whatever, be it Simple Scrapper, Scalper, sorry, Web Stinger, whatever, or Cash Trap, we usually use this as a form of last confirmation to enter. Not everybody uses it. But sometimes, we, to be on the safe side, we use it as a last confirmation to know if a trade is going to sell or if a trade is going to go our way or if it will favor us very well. Like, just imagine, maybe you've done your analysis and your analysis is telling you that Euro GBP is about to sell and you now come to the currency strength and you see this kind of thing. <laughs> I won't even think twice before I jump into the trade because this thing usually favor trade a lot. If this thing is in your favor in a trade, that trade will go your way. If I, I, it's, not just, it's not just good to say 100%. It will go your way, sure. So we use it as a form of confirmation in trades. So that's one thing we should understand. Are we clear on that? So we can go to the next thing. Are we all clear on that? Are we all clear on that? Please type in clear if you are. Let's see our next agenda. Thank you all for following. Can I rub the, can I clear this thing? Have you all written this thing down? Should I clear it off on my screen? Can I clear it, take it off on my screen? Please type in yes, if I can take it off on my screen. These things I wrote down on basic psychology of trading. All right, thank you. 
Now, now shadow indicators. This is one thing you shouldn't joke with. How do we shadow educators? What do I mean by shadowing educators? When you come to your go live session and the, an educator is, educator is like, you want to take trade with the educator. What are the things you should do so that you get the same results these educators are getting? Let me go and see if, if we have any Spanish HFX educator that is live. I will even use that as an example to tell you how you can copy their language. We don't have any HFX educator life now. Okay, since we are even here, since we are even here, let me just show you how to copy and paste that Spanish to English. Let me open one of the educator on Spanish. These are all the educators that takes, you can see those educators we have on English session, you can see them here. You can see them here. See, see, in fact, you see Jonathan. Jonathan comes every day on Spanish session, every day. Unlike English session, he comes in only twice. And you can trade with him on the Spanish session. Let me click on, let me click his last class. As sometimes it's always very slow when you are trying to stream a, a video on a Zoom, on a live video, you are trying to stream another live video. It's always very slow to load. Let me just see if it will load, if this chat will load. So I can copy one of the chat and go to the video. Or let me just open the site for you, Spanish. to English. Can you see it? Can we see what I'm talking about? The Spanish, to, you can see it, type one. When I type Spanish to English, can we see what's on the screen? If you're seeing it, just type one. Good. So once you come here, let me go and look for one Spanish thing to paste here so that we see how it works. Oh. Let me see if I can click watch again. If it will load. See, this thing is not loading. Anyways, so that we don't waste our time. Once you click on this place, just copy that Spanish, whatever they've written on the, on the chat box here. Whatever they've written. In fact, if you don't copy, just know that Venta, when you see Venta, they mean sell. When you see Compra, they, means, they mean uh, buy. If you see Presio, Presio means the price that you're supposed to enter. Once you come here, just type it, just paste it. Once you press paste, you don't need to press enter or anything. Once you press that paste, the translation will appear here of whatever they told you. The, the same thing on TikTok. When they send something on their TikTok, sometimes they send it in Spanish. Just copy it, bring it here. It will show whatever the translation is here. That's all you need. Now, how do we shadow educators on HFX? Okay, since we are here already, once the, okay, unlike before though, now, 
the time um, glitch has been worked on. So it's a little bit better now. But still, for those that are new and have not really been following us, we usually say, when an educator is live, this is where the video will be playing. Whatever they are saying, whatever they are doing, it will be playing here. But when they want you to take a trade, you will see something like this. It will have appear here on the chat box here. It's, okay, the first thing, once you press, once you come here, you press play on the screen. When they are live, you see a play button here. When you press play, the next thing you want to do, click on this activate scroller. Always make sure you click on that activate scroller because the activate scroller will help you so that when, in case, you know, when they are typing and typing and typing, if you don't activate the scroller, they might have, they might have typed something down and you won't see it. It will just be there. But if you activate the scroller, whatever is down, down, to be, as they're typing, it will be scrolling it up. That's to be showing you the last message they sent. That's the essence of typing this, active, uh, clicking on this activate scroller. Now, your eyes should be more on this chat box. And you can also ask them questions here. You type your question here, they will see it. Your eyes should be more on this chat box and less on what they are doing on the screen because you are here to make money with them. Even if you are learning, but you are here to make money first. So whatever he's saying, just be listening, but let your eyes be on the chat box here. Because most time, as he's talking, you would have seen, he might have typed something like this. Let me show you an example of what he type. Maybe they will type GBP USD, five minutes sell. They will type the last three figures, let's say 890. You see something like this. Did you guys see what I just sent on the chat box? If you, if you saw what I just sent on the chat box, type in two. Let me be sure we're on the same page. Okay, good. You see something like this. They will send, they will be the one to send it. Meanwhile, in what he is saying, he has not even said it. Because of the little difference in the time. Sometimes the timing, it is maybe a few seconds later that you will not hear him saying it. Meanwhile, he has, it has appeared in the chat box. So immediately you, you see it on your chat box. What do you do? Now, this will not take us to, this will not take us to our trading platform. Immediately you see this on the chat box. All you do is what? Go to your trading platform. Go to your trading platform. And set whatever he has written here on your platform. You go to your trading platform. This is IQ option for those of you that are, that are using or planning to use IQ option. This is how IQ option looks like. I would advise when you want to now put it on your IQ option, come to add here. Don't come to this place. Add it here so that you'll be seeing it at the top here. If you come here, it's only change this one to, okay, well, if you change this one to change, but let's say they call several trades at the same time. You want to add all the trades here so that you just be navigating through the trades. You don't have to come here to be searching for the trades. What do you do? You know, he called, you are assuming now that he called GBP US the five minutes sell 890. I don't know if that price is even available, but let's just go check it. GBP US, you come to the. Now, all trades they call is on binary. You see two options here, binary and digital. All their trades is on binary. If it is going to be on digital, they will specify 
and tell you digital. If they don't tell you digital, just know that all their trades, you look for it on that binary. Now you come to G, GBPUSD. Click on GBPUSD. This is the chart for GBPUSD. There's nothing like 890. Let's look for another number. Let's say he said you should sell at the uh, Let's say it says to sell at 235 and it sends it like this. Let's send it again. GBP USD. Five or let's say two minutes sell. Two, three, five. Let's say it sent it like this. You come to your IQ option. GBP USD. Two minutes sell at. Two, three, five. What do you do? You come here. You come to this place on your IQ option. You will see graphical tools. This one, two, three, this third one. You see graphical tools. You come to graphical tools. Pick horizontal line. Horizontal line. Click on it. Once you click on it, you will see your cursor. Look for the last three figures that is 235. Can we see 235? This price, this price here that we are seeing, you can see as I'm scrolling, it's showing the, the, the prices. Can we see 235? Where is 235? This is 232. 235. Is shaking. Two, three, Can you see? I have set my horizontal line on two, three, five. Can we all see it? It means that what? It's telling us that once this price gets to two, three, five that we should sell it. We should take it for yourself. Once the price gets to 235, we should take it for yourself. Now I've set my horizontal line. What else can I do here? You can set an alarm on this horizontal line so that once you get there, in case you're doing something else on your system, if you should sound an alarm to notify you that the price has gotten to 235, you come to this place. Oh, where is it? My llama phone. Where you want to? Okay. If you if you put your listing on the line, you see it. Two three five. Hey, it has got in there. Oh, we're supposed to sell it now. You said we should sell for two minutes, Abby. You click, come to your timer here. Pick two minutes. You might not say exactly two minutes, oh. But at least we are seeing something close to two minutes. This is 2.02. .02. Click on it. Ah, this trade. See, that's why you need to be fast. Immediately it calls that line. Put your line. Put you can put that. You can you might if it's close to it, because you'll be wasting your time. If it's not close to it, put alarm. If it's close to it, put don't put the alarm, just put the horizontal line. Once it gets before it gets there, put your timing. See, see now what we have is 1.36. We don't have to, we have 2.34. Me, if I'll pick this trade, it depends on how the trade is moving, Sha. You can pick this 2.26. You see, this trade has even gone the wire itself. So, but this is the example, Sha. You know, I didn't do any analysis, I was just using the naked this thing to check. Let's say we want to sell on two minutes. You pick your two minutes. You put the amount you want to use and they usually tell us, the traders will tell us, don't use more than two to 5% of your account at a time to take a trade. Whatever you have in your account, let's say you have $100 in your account here. What you will put here should not be more than 5%, between two to 3%. Let's say you want to use 2% of your $100. 
what will we put here? You put what? Two dollars. Two dollars is two percent of your account that you want to use to take this trade. What next? You know, I've been talking and I've wasted time. This time is not waiting for me, it's reading. Come back, I'll come back to cross check my time. You can see it's already on one minute. This I'll repeat that two minutes. Cross check. Now, this trade is giving out what? 93%. You don't want to take a trade that is less than 70%. Don't take a trade less than what? 70%. I repeat, don't take a trade less than 70 percent. You don't want to risk your money for something that will give you a profit of less than 70 percent. So this percentage from it and it also depends on brokers. Now IQ option is paying 93 percent on this um, on this money on GBP USD presently. If you go to this option, it might be a different percentage. In trading, my idea different percent, percent thing. If on your own platform is giving you a low percent, don't take that trade if it is less than 70 percent. <coughs> you see, if we are taking this trade here, we would have won this trade. You see, what I was telling you that if you can understand the market psychology, you can win trades on your own. I only use psychology of the market to know that. This place was the highest, was the higher high so far. And I know definitely if trade gets to this area, it will, it will be what? It will react. That was why I put the, the mark here. I just use market psychology to know. that once this from, I use the previous um, points to know that once this trade gets to this area, it will react. That was how I put the mark here. If I had taken this trade for itself, I would have won it clean. I would have won it clean. And that was why I talk, spoke about market psychology. If you can understand market psychology, this trading is not difficult. So like I was saying, don't take anything less than 70%. For those that are new and don't understand how all these things work, like I said, after they have called this trade for you here, you just come to your broker, pick the currency, GBP USD. Look for the pick horizontal line from here, horizontal line. Look for the three, last three figures that they called. Look for it and place the horizontal line there. All you need to. Then the next thing, if they tell you take it for three minutes, two minutes, or whatever time, come here. IQ option might not give you the exact time, but it will give you a range of the time. If they say five minutes, you can take this 4.330 as your, okay, like now, if they say five minutes, I can take this 5.25 if it has not got into my line. Because I know if I take this five point whatever now, I'm still waiting for it to get to my line. And by the time I'm waiting, the five point, the point something on top will be reading off. By the time this thing would, would have gotten to my waiting line, it might now be exactly five minutes or four point something minutes. Because the time for IQ option is not waiting for you. If you pick it, it will start reading. Even without picking it, you can see it's even reading here, sir. You can see it's reading. So if I want to take a five minute trade now, I can take this 4.43. If I want to take two minutes trade now, I can, if the trade is ready, go, 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 I can take this 1.37. If it's not ready, I will take this 2.34 because I know that by the time it will be ready, this three something would have passed. So pick your time, put the amount you want to risk. See, I've heard some people making mistake oh, in this putting of amount, please don't make mistake because you don't know, you don't want to hear story that touches the heart. You say, ah, I wanted to put two. I don't know how my hand went to press zero or two zero at the back. My hand now press it like this. Please double check to be sure it is the amount you want to put that you put. One zero, zero standing on its own is nothing. But when zero is at the back of a figure, it's something though. Don't make that mistake. Oh. Be careful with what you're pressing here and cross check to be sure. 
put whatever you want to use here. Put the percent, um, check to be sure that the percentage is above 70%. It will tell you, this price automatically is telling me that if I use 20% to take this trade, this is the profit I will make. 18, I will make $18. If I take this trade with $20, because it's paying out 93%, this is going to be my profit. Now, what's green and red? Green means buy. Red means low, means sell. You know, normally, when you see red, red is danger. It's something that is coming down. Green is good. Hey, here, green land. The land is green. It's going up. Red, danger, run for your life. It's coming down. So just know, because on platform, you will see something else. So you see call and put. Don't get confused. It's the same thing. So just know the color. The color green is buy. It's going up. Green land. The red is said. It's coming down. Danger zone. That's just the meaning. Immediately all this or this thing, you have put it. All you need to do is to what? Wait for that trade to get to the line that you have set. Immediately it gets to that line, you click lower or higher. If you are on demo account, if I click lower now, if I click lower, it will just go straight. If I click lower, if I click lower, it will take the trade, bam. But if it's on your live account and you click lower or higher, it will not ask you to confirm trade. It will ask you to confirm the trade. Should you take it yes or no? That is like telling you, like a double, if it's on live account, it will be like a double check for you to be sure. But like if it's on demo now, if I take it now, it's not telling me, if you just take it. Can you see, just took it. You didn't tell me if I should confirm if I really want to buy or sell. But if it's on live account, if you say you confirm lower or confirm higher, then you now click on confirm lower or confirm higher. So that is just how IQ option works for those that are on IQ option. Are we clear? Any questions on IQ option? Let me see. Any questions on IQ option? Any question, please? Okay, Samuel, you have the question. Let me, should I unmute you? Or you just, can the trade be canceled? No. On binary trading, on HFX trading, you cannot cancel a trade. That's why you should be sure of your decision before you make it. You can only cancel trade on normal Forex. A trade cannot be canceled. Once you take it, you're taking it. It's just like rapture. Once rapture comes and it takes those that you want to take, you cannot say, can you re can you retain some? Once it's gone, it's gone. That's just it. No second battle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Once it's like first life. Ah, we want our trade. We want the trade. Can you see? What I did here is just naked forex. I just use normal price. They care for it because I know definitely this place it has gone higher than high. It will definitely react here. That's why I took it for itself. Any other question on your any other question? That is why the reason is good is that is why in fact the trade cannot be cancelled or possible. That is why you will determine from the beginning. It helps you to determine from the beginning how much you are ready to lose. Because, see, immediately you take this trade, palm like this, you see the amount that you put that you want to use for the trade, it will be deducted immediately from your account. If you win the trade, they will give you back the money plus your profit it means that like i used one dollar to take this trade now 
they've removed one dollar from my account. If I, as I want this trade now, what they gave me back is 1.93 cents. What they gave me back is 1.93 cents. So immediately you take the trade, the money, you would have seen your money, your equity, they deducted it from your equity. So if they've, you just assume, immediately you take that trade, assume that you have lost that trade. Oh, don't, don't, it's not good to assume bash, but just assume that that money is gone out of your account. If you win the trade, they will give you both the money plus your profit back. That's how it works. Okay, what was the price? What is the price passed in seconds before you realized? Good question. If the, if the price passed in seconds before you realize, like, there are two passing. Let's say they take, like when we took this trade here, let's say the price passed in seconds and passed upwards. You know, you're planning to take it for yourself. If you pass upwards in seconds, it's a good thing for you because it's giving you a better position to enter that trade. You can take it up for a set, upper than where you even planned before. You can take it higher. Let's say I planned here before, and in a few seconds, you just flip and go to this place. Bam. In fact, it's giving me a better entry. You can take it from here fast. Yes, that is even a better entry than taking it from here. But if it passed in the sense that immediately it got here and it immediately dropped within a second, a twinkle of, as in a twinkle of an eye, it got here, it didn't allow you to take the trade and dropped, leave the trade. In trading, we tell you, don't pursue trade. If you pursue a trade, the trade will turn back and slap you. It will be like when a man is pursuing a girl and the girl is saying, leave me alone now. What will be the next thing? If the girl is very rude, she will just turn back and land the one to slap. <laughs> Let's say you're embarrassing her in public. That's the way it is. Don't pursue the trade. If, you're, if you don't get it, leave the trade and let it go. Another trade will come and meet you. If you have the trade, is there 24 7. Good thing about HFX is 24 7. In fact, my husband took some trade yesterday, Sunday. I didn't even know that. Out of Five trades, you want four on a Sunday. So you don't need to pursue trade. Just allow the trade go if you missed it. Now, one thing, yes, thank God I remember. If you are following a trader, a, a, an educator, and the trade gets to that point, and you, 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 were not, you were not fast enough to take that trade, and it, it started moving, leave that trade. Except the educator tells you that one, when it gets back to that zone, you can take it again. Some people, the trade would have moved and left them. But because the trade now reversed and came back to that zone, meanwhile, the people that took the trade, they won the trade. They let the trade. But because you got your markup is still there and the trade now came back, you are still not watching it because you are angry that you don't follow everybody to win. The trade now came back to that zone. You will not take it again. Please, if you are following educator, except the educator tells you that take it again when it gets back to that zone. Please and please don't take it again. Except the educator tells you to take it again. Or maybe there was a markup during the educator session and the markup didn't get there. And the time of the educator has elapsed. The educator, the educator leaves without telling you to take it or not. Just leave that markup, let it go. Except the educator, like Jonathan will tell you that, okay, I'm leaving this one for you as an assignment. Fine. When the educator leaves, you can monitor that trade to get to that zone. But if the educator does not tell you that when he gets there, after he has left, that you should take it, please leave that trade. You can go and do your own analysis from the Liberty or Hourglass to take trade. But that particular, because trade reacts at a particular time to that it, the reaction is for that particular moment. Once you don't, you miss it for that moment, you don't need to pursue the trade. Look for another one. Please show where the two minutes is on IQ option platform. I just can read it. Please do a quick rundown of where to find all what is needed on the platform. Show me where the two minutes is on. Is on IQ option platform. Two minutes. The time 
You mean time? If is the time? Because I'm not really getting the question. If is the time? Some trader will tell you second clock. Like, um, I think Luis Acosta will tell you, take it on second clock. If the trader tells you second clock, this is the first clock, this is the second clock. It means that he's telling you to take it around two minutes. This is second clock. And this is also the two minutes. This 1.1 1 .1 something is one minute. This two minutes, this three minutes, this four minutes, and this five minutes. That's just how it is. The next one, this 15 minutes, 30, 45, one hour, one hour, 15 minutes, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. So that's the, these are the time in your Nike option. Here, it's by the side here, time. And I will advise, when you are trading with IQ option, don't use the app. Please use the web. It might, when you want to register, it might direct you to the app to register. But after you've done your registration, go back to trade with the web. It's, the platform is kind of, I prefer it though, it's quite better on the web version rather than the app. So use the web to trade for IQ option. I don't know about the other ones. Not all the brokers have apps. If, I think it's just IQ option and some few. Others don't have app, they use web mostly. So this is the time. Then please do a quick rundown to where to find or where to find all what is needed on the platform. Please, what platform are you referring to, Ma? Hmm? Is it on this IQ option? Okay, if it's on IQ option. When they call a trade, I gave you an example here. When you see a trade like this, GBP USD, two minutes sell, two, three, five. When you come to your IQ option here, this is where you look for GBP USD, your currency pair. You come here, you see all the currency pairs here. You see all the currency pairs here. Now, all the pairs they trade on is under, you see two options, binary and digital. When you just register newly, you might not see binary, you see only digital. But by the time you fund and I think you do your verification, it will be, you will see the two options. All the trades you take should be on binary, under binary, except the educator tells you to go on that digital to look for it. They will specify, if they, if they refer to digital, they will specify. But if they don't specify, just know that you're looking for the trade on that binary. So this is where you look for all your trades. This is where you see all the trades. That is for trades. Now I talked about the timing. Okay, I've shown you the timing. Now this is the amount that is for your equity. The trader will tell you, they, they taught us not to use more than 2 to 5% of our account to trade. Now, it means that here, you shouldn't put, you, this is where you will put the percentage you want to use to take that particular trade. If it is 2%, let's say 2% of $100, that's $2. You will come here and type in $2. This is the profit the percentage profit this particular currency, GBP USD, is paying out 93%. It means that if you win this $2 trade, this is your profit, $1.86 will be your profit. That is 93% of $2. Now I said green is buy, red means sell. Now, if the trader calls a particular figure for you like this, GBP US is two mini seller, two, three, five. You see this two, three, five? It is always the last three figures of the price. This is the, these are the price line. These are all the prices. This is the current price. This white, this price in the white box is the current price of the market. Now, if you're putting your cursor up and down, you'll be seeing the various prices at that particular place where your cursor is. You see that three last three figures? You will just look for the last, you come here. This is where you pick your graphical tools 
and every other tools we need. You see this third, this is the first circle, second circle, third circle here. You see graphical tools. Click on it. You can remove all the, let me remove every other one. So I get this cool. You now pick horizontal line. Once you pick it, look for that two, three, five. Let's say they said two, three, five, Abby. Look for the two, three, five. As I, you can see, as I'm going up and down, the numbers are changing. All I need to do is look for two, three, five. Two, three, five. This is two, three, five. I'll put my line here. It means that after I've put the line and I've set all these necessary things here, all I need to do is to wait. You know, when I called that trade, the price was below here. That's why it's existing. All you need to do is to wait. If it is a buy, they call that trade for. Just wait for this price to get to this line. Once it gets to this line, for IQ option, cross check your time to make sure that your time is still on that time. Let's say they call it for two minutes. We we'll pick the time and just click on what? Buy. That's once this price gets to this blue line. Let's say you want to be doing other thing on your system. I still talked about alarm. You can set alarm on this price. You can set alarm. You can set an alarm. Why is alarm this emotion? Okay. Just click on the two, three, five. The last three figures, two, three, five. Done. It means that once this, you can be doing other things on your system, you don't have to now stick to the screen. If you know that this price is still far away from the line, it means that once this line gets to this place, it will ring an alarm, it will sound an alarm out for you. Immediately you quickly come back here, read. Remember, I'm repeating this word. Recheck your time before taking that trade. Come, come here and re-click your time. Then take, leave all that, all the, every other thing will remain the way you set it. It is only this time that might have changed. Now, in case they call a figure, another thing, thank you for reminding me. In case they call a figure and you're looking for it here and you see that uh, this figure is still down, down, and you've exhausted this whole place, just shrink in your, you can shrink in your screen by picking, you can pick a higher time here. You can pick 30 minutes here. Can you see it, sh it shifted the thing higher, but for some, like this one now, I can even shrink the screen like this. That's for this system. I'm, I'm sure on your system, you should be able to also shrink it. To see more of the time, or if you still shift, maybe you still shift it, shift it down, down, and it's not to get it to the line. Pick three hours, it will shrink it up for you. Can you see it will give you more space here so that you can see the lower uh, figures here? Now you can change this the way this your line, these are lines. Some people use a candlestick, you can change it here. Your candles, you can change the type of chart you want. If you click this first circle here, you can change it to candles. You can change it to candles. Can you see it has changed to candles? Can you see it has changed to candles? You can change the timing of the candles. When you change the candles, you can change the timing of the candles. You can see it's now candles. And when you pick this timing, you see this thing on that here. Uncheck it, make sure it is not checked. So that when you are shrinking it, if I'm shrinking up and down, it will not be changing the if you if you check it, if, if I check it now and I'm shrinking up and down, it will be scattering my arrangement on the screen. Because you'll be changing the way the thing is. So make sure you uncheck this candle when you pick the time. If you are using candle, that's what then if you want to add indicators here, you see all the different indicators. All the indicators usually are the normal chart screen. They are all here. 
So are we clear now? Um, Pastor Josephine, I think I've, clear, I've explained the... Here, okay, if you want to see your trading history, where you've traded, your history, you come here, trading history. If you show, you can see, these are the trades I've taken. This is one I've taken today, first of June. That one I took is here. Every other ones I've been taking. They're all here, trading history. You see it here. I want to know your trading history. Total portfolio. This one is for active trade. Uh, if you want to see those top traders, um, leaderboard, I guess. If I see this, this leaderboard now, is showing the top traders, like those that have earned the most, uh, made more profits, highest in my region. Okay, this is worldwide. You can pick your you can pick your country. In your country, Nigeria. You can see in Nigeria, these are the people that have you see this person is number one. He is number number one is this one. This is your number. Hmm? Seven hundred and eighty. Number seven hundred and eighty. This is demo account anyway. This is a demo account. These are all in Nigeria. Top traders. So that's all states. That's all about IQ option. And see, if you if you can understand one platform, just is the same idea. You, you only trade is the same thing. Raise option. The only difference in those ones are the timing. Those ones, their timing is more straightforward. The time, unlike this one that I was saying that you pick a time close to, that one has exactly one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, exactly straightforward. No, you don't pick an um, average. On the bottom side, I can see 30 days. Okay, I've answered this one now. On the bottom days, I can see 30 days, one day, three hours. I can see you place yours on 15. What is the effect? I think I've answered this one, Mr. Ghani. I answered it. Ma, what determine the type of candy to use? 30 seconds or 5 minutes or 10 minutes. Okay. If you're taking your, if you're taking your trade, by yourself, let's say you're using a strategy on Liberty. Sometimes when you want to take the trade, the time frame you're using to, let's say you come to Liberty now and you're using 15 minutes to take that trade here. I think the time frame should determine how many minutes you put here too. If you're using 15 minutes, best you come here and pick 15 minutes candy so that you'll be seeing the exact replica here too. So that's... So there's no best time frame uh, candy to use. It depends on the strategy and how many minutes you're using to take that trade. That's just it. Please show where the, okay, I've answered that one. Okay, so I think I've answered virtually all the questions. Mm, talking is not easy. This is actually why I don't like training. Not <laughs> okay, so um, let me see. Is there another thing we've not touched on? Let me see. Okay, educators to follow. I think I've explained that those people will follow frequently, and I've explained the timetable. The tools is those um, the liberty that I showed you. Now, mini muse, if you want to understand that trading style, come to her live session. Let me share. Oh. oh. Go to live session, go live. Change it, I'll change it back to, always remember to change it back to English. Show. 
Or sometimes you, you would have left it on Spanish. You will not be looking for the educator. I do not see the educator now. Always remember to change it back to English. It comes to HFX. Millie Muse, click on her session on her avatar. When you come to Millie Muse, this was what I sent on the group yesterday. Come to the favor, just scroll down. You see these favorite sessions. Just click on the favorite sessions. This training, it is the only training there. That's what I was saying yesterday. It is the only video under the favorite sessions. Watch this basic. Don't fast forward it to. This is one hour. One hour, one minute and 27 seconds. Please don't fast forward it because, see, she took the, the reason I love this is because she took the training from the beginning up to the point of even knowing how to read currency strengths and knowing how to read um, news. Yes, that's another thing. Watch this video if you want to know how to read news, how to use news to know when you should trade and when not to trade a particular currency. That's how in-depth you went with this training. So when you come to Minimus, she thought on how to use that her strategy, Simple Scalper. If you are interested in using Simple Scalper to, to, to trade on your own, come to this place to learn it. Everything, she explained it like, like she explained it like when you are teaching a baby how to read a BC from the scratch. It's very easy. So that's that on that. Then for the other strategies, I said you go to um Next Request. Although Next Request is the is the originator of those strategies, but Minimus is the one that uses it most. So that was why I prefer a uh, explanation on simple scalper, but you can also get the explanation when you come to next request. When you come to next request, the training he did, oh, okay, load more. Come to load more. Uh -uh. They are not showing you again. Is it on the favorite? It's not down here. It's not down here. Maybe as the date is going, thing is okay. Okay, yeah, it's here. You see this training he did on the fifteenth and on the eleventh. One of it carried the. Just check. Watch this on the 15th and 11th. This 11th and 15th. Watch the training. He, he trained on how to use the three strategies. That's the web slinger, pickpocket, and simple scalper. He trained on how to use it. So just learn it. Practice it. on. Take like 50 trades on your demo. Recorded trades. That will make you know. That will make you know how to use those strategies very well. They are very easy. So any other question, please, before I hand over the platform for greatness to, to round up. Is there another question you need to know? My whole, okay. I've answered that. I think I've answered virtually all the questions here. I've answered it. Now, on our WhatsApp, please, I want to be sure. Sure of what, uh, Mr. Samuel, or it can't be Mrs. Samuel. Samuel is the boss. Mr. Samuel. <laughs> sure of what, please. Meanwhile, why are you writing that down? On our WhatsApp group, please. Please and please and please. We might not know everybody, and we might not be able to, okay, not know, I won't use the word know, but like to follow up on everybody, like it's, it's not really easy trying to send message to everybody on their different WhatsApp personal page. That's why we have a WhatsApp group. In fact, we even had to break it down to a WhatsApp. We have a general group which is the a million dollar a day on Telegram and in fact 20K we loaded. 
if we really wanted to lead everybody to, to be following that up, I'm very sure it might not be too easy. That's why we even brought it down to our small units. This is our small water group. It's like, for those of us that are Christians here, it's like having a cell, a cell unit for us to be able to break down information fast to you guys. So please, I would appreciate if we can all go to our WhatsApp group right now. I'm, I know we all have important groups. We all have other important groups we are on. But please, I would appreciate if you can go to our WhatsApp group right now and pin that WhatsApp group project 100 in more to the top of your WhatsApp chat. It's easy. Just hold down that project 100 in more. Hold, press it down. That pin option we appear, something like that, uh, thumb pin. You will see it. Thumb, something like thumb pin we appear. Click on that thumb pin. It will pin that group to the top of your chat. Hmm? Okay, let me just show you how it, will, how it will be. Meanwhile, let me quickly answer this question. Please, I want to be sure of when to enter a trade after confirming on Liberty. I cannot answer that question now. Reason is because we have three strategies on liberty we have simple scalper web slinger and the um, pickpocket under liberty the confirmation of simple scalper is different from the confirmation of web slinger to and for entry it's different from the confirmation of pickpocket for entry so i don't know that question by not is not straightforward enough to be answered is this on stochastic or is that like when the educator say enter at this where did they see it i want to be sure that's why i said Go if you watch that millimills this thing. If you watch most time, they will tell you once you are able to most of them they have like six to seven confirmations for you to enter that trade. But the like simple scalper will tell you once you are able to collect up to four plus um, confirmations, you can enter. So you are able to get up to four plus confirmation on simple scalper you can enter the trade so go watch the video once you watch the video and there's she she, she explained on the entry if after watching the video you are not still clear you can private chat me or private chat mr kenvi we are going to now do another session with you but go watch that video it explained it on the entry so i'll stop sharing now so that i'll share that water, how to pin the water group. So that's why, it's, please, sometimes you get information late because you read your chat late. If you're able to always read those information we send, and please, for every information we send on the group, they are important information. Let us take them seriously so that we can get the best, everybody can get the best results. See, our joy is to see everybody grow together. If you are the only one growing in this team, it doesn't make sense to us. Our joy is when we see testimonies. Everybody, see Mr. Hecho was able to share a testimony this afternoon where he, he, he used the simple scalper. I told them to watch the video yesterday. He watched the video and used the simple scalper to, 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 to take six trades. And he won, he won, it to take eight trades. He won six and lost just two. Today on his live account, that's a very big testimony. Just what did he do? He followed the instruction. He followed the instruction that was sent on the group. So you can see, you can see this is a WhatsApp. For iPhone, this is an iPhone. For iPhone, once you... If, if you flip, if you slide to your left on iPhone, you will see the pin and on, on pin this thing. You can see, you see the pin and on pin button. But for Android, just hold down the chart. If that pin something will appear. Once you click on the pin, it will take, you can see Project 100 on this group now. Over. You can see on this chart list, Project 100 is at the top, followed by P1000, that's Sagari's group, then this other person. 
those you can see those three the thumb pin showing in front of those three charts it means that those three those three charts are the chart that even if other chart comes it will not overshadow that chart so that you'll be able to be seeing chats um any messages that are coming on that group reason is because sometimes you send message and if you don't pin this our group other messages that will come on your phone they tend they they might now take the message to lower side of your screen that you might not even now know that there's a message waiting for you to be seen to be seen by you so please let us all do that if possible now so that we won't forget thank you very much really appreciate we continue to serve you guys as much as we can to make the whole team because we really want to see ourselves at the top i wouldn't mind by this coming vacation december that's why what 2020 has done i i believe and i see the bright side of this year i wouldn't mind us having a very nice vacation go to miami go to a very sweet place to have vacation from our trading from our building account you know what i'm saying so thank you very much i really appreciate everybody thanks for your time god bless you guys as i hand, hand over the the mic to mr Henry. over to you god bless you all thank you so much show some love Show some love. It's not easy to have a student that has that has now grown so much that I know if I ask you guys one question now, I know I already know the answer. So let me not embarrass myself. Okay, so show some <laughs> show some love. Okay, I want to stop the recording right now, and I'll send this in the group.